this second rig that I'm going to show you today is a, it's a very simple rig and it's the free running feeder rig so again we take our feeder bead and we thread that up the main line once that's threaded on the main line slide that up and out of the way and then we use some line stops or float stops people call them and all these are, are just small pieces of silicon on a on a, a wire sleeve that helps it come onto the line so we'll put the line through slide that up like so and that's what that does is it acts like a buffer um, against the knot and the weights that we put at the end which I'll show you in a minute so what we do at this end of the rig is we take around 10 to 12 inches of line and we turn we start to spin the line in our thumbs but one goes one way so I'm spinning that one towards me and I spin that one this hand away from myself so we're causing the line to you can see it there on screen it bunches up and what that does is it forms a stiff boom which keeps the feeder rig from tangling so we can see there how stiff that line is and all we do to finish that off is again we just do a simple surgeon's loop at the end of that pull that down as it tightens make sure we moisten the knot as I said earlier on the uh, on the video there we do use a couple of weights a couple of stops on this rig um, number sixes or number eights I found to be perfectly good so we just use two and what we do above us twizzled boom there right up against the knot we put the first weight like so and then right behind that we put our second weight just like so and then we slide our bead down tight up against the the shots like that what that does is it acts as a buffer for when the feeder is casting it stops the bead from sliding over the knot that goes down to the hook length here so that's what the finished rig looks like we we'll just attach the feeder then and you can see now when a fish takes that it's completely free running so the bikes show up a lot better on the tip of your rod